Hello everyone, welcome to Beauty in the Garden. I'm T. So in today's video, we are going to be planting our first crop for our spring garden. Now, I know this particular plant is not something you guys are going to be used to wanting to plant, but I think it will be a great addition to my garden. I've already talked about this particular plant. So the first thing first, let's talk about some of the information about this plant that I'm going to be planting. I am going to be planting in today's video is the Green Glow Artichoke. Um, I am going to decide to do a specific method that you get that germination. Let's go ahead and jump into this video. Go ahead and hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I do upload a video. Let's go ahead and talk about some information about the artichoke. The first thing first, the artichoke is a beautiful plant, you guys. And I didn't realize how big an artichoke plant is. Um, I just was stunned. I was like, wow, this is a massive plant. So what would I be planting it in? So I decided to just go with between a five gallon and a 10 gallon grow bag. And it's what I'm deciding to grow my artichokes in. And why I decided that is because I will be able to move that artichoke around. Now this artichoke plants that we are planting can be great for zones seven to 11 as a perennial. That is awesome. So we won't have to plant them again. So that is just, that's just a plus for me. And a plus for you guys who are in zone 7 to 11 you know that's a great deal right well, artichokes are great sources of fiber it's low in fat and as well it has a great selection of vitamins and minerals it has vitamin C it has magnesium it has calcium it has vitamin B6 and as well you guys it has iron so what a plus so I'm definitely happy that I'm deciding to grow the artichokes I am going through a health journey and to getting myself together. You guys, I will be 40 this year. 40 this year. So yay. You know, if God bless me to get there, I will be 40 this year. So let's go ahead, you guys, and jump into this video and show you some of the supplies that I'll be using to go ahead and get our artichokes planted for this year. Here is the pack of seeds that I purchased. I purchased this from Lowe's. This is the Artichoke Green Globe, okay? And um, it did not come with too many seeds in this packet whatsoever. It um, says on the packet, this pretty variety of artichoke flowers in early summer, so that means we gotta go ahead and plant it. The flower buds are deep green with light purple tints. That's pretty, I actually Googled it to see exactly how this plant was going to look. Expecting three to four heads throughout the summer. So we'll get roughly about three to four heads per plant. So I'm gonna be planting up this whole pack. I want a great deal, so I can go ahead and jar them. The next thing up, it says, start indoors eight to 12 weeks before our last frost. So go ahead and check um, your farmer's almanac and find out when your um, last frost date is. So you can go ahead and acclimate it in and out, in and out of your home or wherever you plan on starting your artichokes. You wanna make sure that your temperature outside is at least 50 degrees at night, and that will make sure that your plant will be able to survive outdoors. So making sure that temperature doesn't drop too low, okay? The next thing up is that it takes 10 to 20 days to germinate. You need to plant it 1 fourth of an inch deep, and the spacing is three to five feet, and days to harvest is 85 to 100 days. But what I'm gonna be doing is not gonna be worrying about spacing is because I'm gonna be planting mine in pots. So that's gonna help out when you wanna move it, where you wanna fit it, anything like that. It just takes away that part of worrying about spacing um, when you go ahead and you pop in your plant into a container. What I'm gonna be doing is doing the baggie method. So right here, you guys, I have my Ziploc bag. I have my paper towel. I have my beautiful, I love this, you guys. It is the Miracle Grow uh, sprayer. I just love this. Uh, people who have followed me now for at least a year knows that this sprayer is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. I just love this automatic handheld sprayer by Miracle Grow. Um, I have not found it anywhere else but online now. Um, but uh, I absolutely love this sprayer. Up is I need a towel, okay? I'm gonna spread my towel out, 
Okay. Well, it's the Vivo Sun Adjustable Seating Heat Mat. Okay, this heat mat here um, has a temperature. Let me show you. It has a temperature gauge. Um, so this heat mat right here actually has a thermometer which I think is so awesome, you guys. So this is the heat mat that I'm gonna be using. Why I decided to use it for this particular one is because that the seeds that we're germinating now needs to be at least between 70 and 80 degrees. If you don't have a heat mat where you can go ahead and set your temp, it's okay. Vivo Sun actually has one as well that is not. Uh, I have these, I actually got two of them, you guys. I have these now for about years or something like that. So it's a great mat. It actually is wonderful, okay? Wonderful, wonderful as well. Um, I'm gonna be using all of them. <laughs> but I was excited that I have this one right here is the temperature one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is set up this particular heat mat, okay? This one does have uh, a way to um, read the temperature and making sure that you don't overheat your seedling because I did that, you guys. I hit, I forgot completely about my peppers and they dried up, you guys, not paying attention. Um, so I decided that, you know, I always make sure that I do uh, put a towel in between. So it'll definitely keep down some of that heat to keep my seedlings from drying out. Here is the real temp, set your temp on or off, okay? your up and your downs. So this is actually so great to have your own control of your temperature of your heat mat. But like I said, like I said, Vivosun has a lot of different products. Um, like I said, I have the heat mat without it, but this is an awesome addition um, to my um, gardening indoors. So I really like this. And especially if a person does hydroponics, this is great for a hydroponics uh, unit as well if you want if a person is into doing hydroponics okay but let's go ahead and finish our artichokes okay so the first thing I'm going to do when I'm starting the artichokes is I'm going to write today's date and today's date we're going to write our date when we start our seedlings you can write the time if you want to exactly when you start it if that's what you want to do so I'm going to go ahead and write the time that I started just so you can keep notes of everything if you want to. So we're gonna set that to the side. And what I wanna be doing is opening my bag up a little bit. So here is the seeds of the artichokes. They don't give you many, okay? I do have six already started, um, but let's go ahead and put them down. So we have one, two, Six. I'm actually going to go ahead and plant them all in just this one napkin. I'm going to space it out. You know, you want to space them out, okay, on your napkins. You want to space them out. Don't have them clumped up. Just don't throw them on your, um, your paper towel or anything like that. You want to give them the space so when the roots start to grow, you'll be able to um, tease them apart, okay? We want them to kind of spread out, all right? So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to miss my paper towel with my sprayer. I just love the sprayer, so I thought that was. And then I'm going to overlap the paper towel. So we want it just like this so the um, seeds will stay in place. They won't, um, when you put it in your bag, they won't roll all over the place, okay? They're, they will be in place, which you guys can see, okay? Now I'm gonna do is place it into the um, baggie. All right, just like this. inside the bag we don't want our seeds to dry out we don't want it soak either so then we're going to flip our bag just kind of get some air in there we want some air in there you can blow in there if you want to we just want a little bit of air in our bags okay so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to grab our heat mats and i like to use a bath towel okay and then i'm going to put it right in between the uh, the bath towel just like this. Then I'm going to set my temperature. 
all right to 75 degrees I'm going with 75 degrees for now. And then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to lay my artichokes onto the towel like this. So here is the ones I started. Okay, I started these on the 14th. All right, I'm going to lay them on to the towel. And then I'm just going to slide them to the side. All right, and now I'm just going to place another towel right on top. We want to keep all that heat in, keep them nice and tucked in and they're um, germination's home okay for now so that is it for our artichokes and I'll be back in 10 to 20 days to let you guys see if they have germinated check out Vivil Sun they have awesome heat mats you can find them on Amazon or you just find them on the actual home page I have in the description box below you guys if you guys are interested in the Vivil Sun products I have a ton of it with some products um, I really like their brand um, I literally been using Vivil Sun for a while now my brother actually um, told me about it and I purchased some heat masks from them so I hope you guys enjoyed the video please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I do upload a video and remember there's beauty in everyone's garden and bye bye for now Bye, you guys. Happy planting.